Hello, everybody out there. Welcome to the stream. Happy Wednesday to everybody. And we have finally finished all of Kingdom Hearts so far. And now we shall go into Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now, like I said, I said this in the last stream. I have been playing Disney Dreamlight Valley since it came out. We're not starting a brand new valley. I'm not getting rid of all the hard work I've put in. You guys can see my valley where it is right now. <laughs> and I have intentionally not done anything with the valley yet today. I did check it just to make sure I have crops to harvest and things like that, which I do. I have a very big, uh, very big, oh, you'll see it when we get there. So, yes, um, there is, so we're not starting a valley off from scratch. So, if there's anybody in here who hasn't played the game yet and wants everything to be like a total surprise, you may not want to watch this one. Because there's technically spoilers, I guess. But in a game like this, it's not really like crazy spoilers. There's no like big story spoilers. Um, it's just characters that you unlock as you go. So if you want surprises like that, this might not be the stream for you. But I know most people probably don't care. So that's what we're doing. Ultimate Disney Fan 92, thank you. Hey, Brian, it's Sandy. How's your day going so far? Excited uh, for our first Dreamlight stream. Wheel spin, please. You got it. And uh, the day's going pretty well so far. I got... Uh, Friday's video done today, which I'm very excited about and then I got uh, another one sent in Coming up. So we're gonna have a lot of videos coming up soon <gasps> voice of my choice Well, of course we must start the stream with some Winnie the Pooh bio <laughs> Hello there everyone and hello to you ultimate Disney fan 92 Must make sure that you get a good sweet wish today <laughs> And I wish for you a wonderful day full of honey <laughs> Um life update mentally exhausted on the on the brink of desolation I need my dose of <laughs> my daily serotonin, but I know Brian won't let me down. That's what we're here for We're gonna have some fun Where's Sandy? She, uh, yeah, she didn't want to come down today. She didn't want to come to the studio today. But, you know, she may change her mind. <laughs> Sometimes she can sneak in here. Um, yes. Hi, Brian. I can't believe you did every Kingdom Hearts game. That skill. Well, not all of them were played. Some of them we just watched the cutscenes. Because some of them you can't play anymore. And I'm not going through those phone app games. Like, 95% of that's filler. I'm like, nope, I just want the story and we're getting out. But, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, uh, Dream Drop Distance. All of those we actually played. Most of the other ones we did the cutscenes. We did uh, Fragmentary Passage we actually played. I'm trying to think of any other ones. But, no, the rest, either the only version I had was cutscenes, or I said we're just going to do the cutscenes. Basically, I just did that with the phone app games. So, wow, you guys are excited. Who's ready for some Dreamlight Valor? All right. Ultimate Disney Fan 92, thank you. Oh, you're Winnie the Pooh is always my favorite voice. Besides Tigger, of course. <laughs> Another wheel spin, and I wonder if Pooh is in this game. Halloween video was very funny. Uh, as of right now, Pooh is not in the game. Uh, as of right now, Pooh is not in the game, but that doesn't mean he can't come later. They've already said that there's a lot more characters planned than what they already have. Oh, voice of my choice again. Well, since you said Tigger was your favorite, <laughs> we gotta get some Tigger in there! But of course. Uh, cause yeah, technically the game is still in early access next year. It's actually gonna be free to play. Um, and there'll be like in-app purchases and stuff, but... If you want to play it right now, yes, you have to pay for it, but you do get stuff that you're not going to get later. So it totally works. Wait a minute. Number one, this is becoming a series. Maybe if you guys have a lot of fun just watching me do this because we're not starting over from scratch. If you guys really want to see more, I'm totally game to do more. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I've never done a game like that. Well, that's not true. I did Animal Crossing on stream before, but that was where we started one from scratch. This is one I play it on my own. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hop into the game. So I've already turned it on and everything. So as you guys can see, I've got a lot of dream light. I've got 70,000. I have poured a lot of time into this game. I've been playing it at least once a day, every single day since launch. So, yes, this is my valley, and this is my house. As you can see, I have kind of gone all out with making it look cool. I don't know why Donald's here. 
He's just kind of staring at me through the bars. I can't do it, I swear! <laughs> that, that's what you get, Donald. You're stuck in jail. Yeah! You're stuck in there with Elsa. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so this is my house. I kept it in the same spot as where it started because as of right now, I really like that. Added a nice little gate in front. Got the statue from Helping Mickey. And I found the Lion King waterfall and spring. And if those guys are wondering, is Donald really stuck in there? No. He could totally walk out. He's choosing not to. Oh, hi, Scar. So <laughs> Scar just randomly walked up. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have not seen the Scar update, I don't know why, but everybody's going back to this corner of my house. I don't know why, but they are. Um, yeah, and as you guys can see, I've unlocked the raccoon, the uh, new Halloween raccoon that just came out with the update. Um, so, yeah. Prison Donald. His name is Prison Donald. Just wait, I'm hard to... <laughs> Scar, you're kind of blocking my house, bro. Come on, dude. Yeah, thank you. I want that fence, but grinding iron... But iron grinding takes forever. Well, see, that's what I like about the new update. It really helps mitigate that. Uh, so let's go into my house for a second. I'll show you guys a few things. <laughs> Move, Scar. You're being a butt. All right. So this is kind of plain and simple, but this is just kind of stuff that I just threw down here because I really liked it. And it's stuff that I like to see every time I come in here. I love my piano and my uh, Ernesto de la Cruz guitar. I don't know. I just like the moose head. Uh, but yeah, just a few things just to kind of make it look nice. I want to redecorate in here But yeah, that's kind of where I am right now, but this is my storage room So I'm working right now to get like a full Icon of everything in the game. So like this is my fruits. I'm a little low. I'm really low on Raspberries right now, but easy fix. I'll show you guys my easy fix with it in just a little bit um, Yeah, I've got all my vegetables uh, Everything's up, but Lettuce. Lettuce is a little low, but I can fix that. And then all of my spices. Um, I'm low on garlic and... Oh, that's my double of sugar cane. So I'm okay with that. Time for a house tour with Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. How do you get more rugs, though? So rugs, you just kind of get them as they come. It's all going to come through Scrooge's shop. Uh, actually, no. I was about to go to Scrooge's shop because I haven't... Like I said, I haven't done anything today. So we can do it all via stream. So I'm going to go... Make my daily trip to Scrooge's today. Um, this, I want to have at least some of every single vegetable seed. And, like, anything that I can have a seed for, I want to have 50 of for everything. But I'm a little low. Because the whole thing is, I, when I'm low on something, I want to be able to just go grab some seeds, plant them, and move on. But I have not restocked since I did it last. Uh, same thing with all the stuff you buy, all the ingredients you buy at Remy's. I did have 100 of everything, but as you see, I've used a lot of butter. I went through and unlocked every recipe, and that kind of killed me on it. This is reminding you of Minecraft. It, it has some similarities to Minecraft and Animal Crossing. It's a little bit of both with a Disney flair. And these are all like the gems. I'm trying to get 50 of everything. I've done so with the emeralds, the garnets, the periots, the ci citrine. I'm almost there with aquamarines. And with amethyst. We're almost there with that, too. The shiny ones, no, not so much. Eventually, I want to get there, but that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, almost with the rubies, uh, sapphires, too, and those just came out, so I'm happy with that. And I got so many vital crystals. I need to start doing something with them. Thoughts? On Scrooge has a shop you can go to? Oh, yes, we will be going to Scrooge shop momentarily. Uh, no, I did that one already. And this is, like, some of the stuff you can craft that you need to craft other items with, so I don't know why, but they just move soil in here, uh, glass, fiber... Gold and silver. I never have enough gold and silver ingots for what I want because, you know, the grind is crazy for it. And here's just all of my random clay, coal, uh, cotton, crystals, dream shards. Oh, my gosh, the dream shards. The night shards, the pebbles, the gold, the different types of wood. I just throw it all in here. And these, for some reason, I have these, and I don't know what they're for. So I can't get rid of them, so they're just going to go sit in here where I have lots of storage. This is nothing. This is just overflow of this should I need it. This is all my fish, which in real life, it would be terrifying to have a whole thing of fish like this because it would go so bad. But I, I eventually want to have 50 of everything. Fugu is going to be so difficult to do that for since you can only catch like one per thunderstorm whenever those happen. Um, 
and then yeah uh, same thing with all these fish and then the seaweed i put in here because that's where they put it in the on the menu screen same thing with all the flowers i will eventually have 50 of all the flowers um yeah and all this is just flowers thought of halloween items so far i love the new update i love everything that we got from it the only thing is like you get you get uh halloween candy every day now if you go and collect it i don't know what you use it for i don't know if there's something that we're gonna need it for so right now i'm just kind of hoarding it and if it's used for nothing then i can i can uh, do stuff later um i'll show the rest of the house later but let's go to let's go to scrooge's so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this plaza area right in front of my house. I moved Mickey because when you start the game, Mickey's house is here. But I moved him elsewhere, which I'll show you guys later. I made this beautiful, elegant gazebo. <laughs> yeah. oh, isn't it lovely? So I wanted to do like a cool park thing over here where everyone could come to. I did make this pool. But I initially had it in a room in my house. So I had like an indoor pool. But I have not. Uh, I decided I'd, I don't know if I like that or not. So I moved it out here. Um, but yes, I need to go trick-or-treating. I saw the, yes, I saw the trick-or-treating things around here, and I just never picked it up earlier. And here, I kind of want to make, like, this nice shopping center look. Um, I spent a good chunk of my time, yeah, this is the candy that you pick up. So you see, like, the little trick-or-treating buckets around here. You pick it up, you get some candy. So that's what I need to go around and do. If you eat... One, if you eat one of each colors of the candy, you complete the three-course meal starlight trap. Oh, is that what it's for? Ow, why are you here? Well, I need more I need more rock anyway, so that's okay. I just spent all of my rock making this, uh, hang on, making this, uh, this clock tower. I used all my rock for that, so I need to do more. See, I eventually want to, like, pave this whole area out a little bit more. Make this middle section look nicer. But here's like Remy's restaurant. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you can kind of see Shea Remy up there. And then this is Scrooge's place. So we need to go and buy our items for today. Oh, there's, there's more candy. So, Brian, does the game have hoodies for the avatars? Oh, there's all kinds of clothing you can have for your characters, all kinds. There's coats, there's tops, there's skirts, shoes, dresses. There's so much. And I have not even gotten close to collecting all of them yet. Like uh, clothing sets, I have, oh actually I'm, I'm over halfway, I'm over halfway. And there are so many options. Like look at all this. And this is only half the options that are available. So you have, all the all the options if you want clothing options you can go to town like there's so much i eventually just want to have everything even though i the vast majority of this will never go on my character but like i could make i can make this person look like one of the incredibles if i wanted to you can even make your own clothing in this which i think is cool like if i go in here and decide i want to change my wardrobe i can actually customize I made this shirt just because I was playing around with it. But, like, yeah, you can start with any type of thing. You can do your basic hoodie, like you were talking about. Get a hoodie. You can put your own designs on it. So you sit over here and you hit create. Uh, you can add a layer. So you have, like, shapes, symbols, characters, animals. And you get all this throughout the game. You unlock it. So, like, animals, I have these. Um, but then I can go in, like, the characters. I have a lot more of that. You can make a shirt with, like... Stitch and a uh, little sea turtle aerial outline the Mickey one that I played around with earlier There are so many options in this game. They're really trying to let you know you have all the options possible Some of them you unlock for doing quests with your characters some of them just from doing things around your island It's crazy. When did this game come out not long ago. It only came out uh, Oh Yeah, and as you do things you unlock dream light uh, and I have a ton of that. I have 70,000. I have nothing to spend it on right now. It kind of makes the sad. But there will be more stuff eventually. Um, yeah, I want to change my top. I want... I have not changed it in a while. Oh, wait, no. I got to get rid of the hoodie first. Wait, I think I do that in the custom one. Yeah, take that off. Um, what shirt do I want? I don't like how he tucks in his shirt. I don't like that. That's weird. So I try to get one of these shirts that it's not tucked in. I 
could go with that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. I haven't worn that shirt. I bet you're having all kinds of ideas, aren't you? <laughs> Pretty much. You need to make a Jimmy to your hoodie. I don't, I don't know if I can get Jimmy added into the game, though. That's the only problem, is I don't think you can import your own designs. I think you just work with what they have. Um, another thing I need to look at is critters. If there's anything that's only that's out today that I don't have. So, I got a bone to pick with this game on a couple things. So, the way this game works is you have critters that are throughout your game, right? And you can unlock them by feeding them about two or three times is what they say. I have fed this classic squirrel and I have fed this white raccoon so many times and they have never unlocked. Red fox, I think I've done about three times. Black sea turtle, I admit I've missed this one quite a few times because that one only comes out for like a few hours. Same thing with the white crocodile and the orchid sunbird. Those make a little more sense. And the ravens, I've been feeding them every day since the, uh, the new pack came out. And nothing, none of them yet. So I'm like, please, please let me get all my critters. Because I've been feeding them a lot. I'm ready to have more critters. Um, but yeah, let's go in here. Let's talk to Scrooge and let's get some, some new stuff. Yeah, so every day he has new options. Some of them are repeats. Some of them are going to be brand new. So far, I've never seen a repeat with clothing aside from this one. This dress is always here for some reason. I don't know why, but it's always there. And uh, this is what you start out with, and eventually you this unlock if you great. upgrade. Oh, okay, be quiet, Eric. Uh, you upgrade Scrooge's shop, and then you have a second floor you can go up to where you can get furniture. You can get, oh, that's really new. What's that? Good day to you. <gasps> Three panel windows for Moana. Oh, yes, we're totally buying that. And yes, I have over a million, I have a million coins. It's really nice. I already have that bed, so I'm not getting that. But I do not have this Shea Lounge, I believe. Oh, greetings, I don't believe I have this one, so we're totally buying that. That's what I do. I have to make my daily trip in here, and I just buy everything that I know for a fact I don't have. Um, I have all that. I do not have this lamp. Greetings, this neighbor. lamp is awesome. <laughs> we're totally buying that. Bye -bye, I already have the uh, spaceport for Wally. I don't think I have those pots and pans. Day, I'm not sure. <laughs> Is Mickey Mouse in this game? Oh, yeah. We'll see his house in just a little bit. I always buy the base furniture because, number one, it's always cheap, and I don't remember what I have and what I don't. And then with clothing, I've never seen a repeat in clothing besides that dress, so I just go buy it all and just hope I don't double buy. What is my favorite Halloween candy? It is a tie between Reese's and Gummy Bears. I, will, I want to have everything. Hello, what is this Love McDuck? This is Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's basically Disney's answer to Animal Crossing, and I am way too hooked on this. I've played it literally every day for at least some point until since the game has come out. How in the world do you get so many coins? Oh, I will tell all. I will tell you my secrets. I will tell you all of my secrets, everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything that I don't already have in Scrooge's shop. So yeah, I do this every day. And my goal is to eventually have everything in the game. Did you unlock many? Yes. I have unlocked every character and gotten them all to level 10. So yes, I have everybody. So these are all the characters in game so far. Scrooge, Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Mother Gothel, Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Ursula, Prince Eric, Ariel, Scar, Remy, Maui and Moana, Wally, Merlin. Yeah, that's all you have so far. But they've also said that there is a Toy Story one that's coming. And I will show you guys what that's all about. So the way that works is some of these characters will show up in your valley. And you just get them going right away. Like Scar that happened with. Mo a lot of characters do that, but not all. Some of them you have to go into the main castle. You have to unlock these doors and go in and do something to help them in their world and then you can come back and they'll be in your village so like here i had to do that for remy to get remy over here so we had to go to his kitchen i had to help him do some meals and i had to convince him to come to the valley and we did that so yeah that's all that's in there is like his kitchen you can go to we had to do that with maui and moana i actually had to go to the island of Matanui, do some things and get them to come so it's actually really cool 
And, uh, yeah, they said the same thing is going to happen with the Toy Story characters. That's going to be the next update, and that happens, they said, in the fall. So, if you guys want to go ahead and get it now, I will tell you guys this. I'm having a crud ton of fun with it. There are a lot of glitches. It's still a, it's still technically a work in progress. They're still updating things all the time. Uh, like, there's been a couple of quests that were glitched out, and I couldn't do anything with them until they fixed it. Oh. There's just uh, there's a pepper in here. Oh, I'll take my pepper. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a few things. I threw stuff in storage in here just because I was running out of stuff. So this was Wally's. I had to do some things to help Wally. Oh, there's an apple. Ah, sure, we'll take the apple. Um, yeah, so there's just some stuff in here we had to help Wally with. And then he came to the valley. And then we had one up here. And that one was for Frozen. We had to go help Anna and Elsa with things. So, yeah. Mickey will be the first character you'll be stalking in-game. Well, when you open up, when you start Dreamlight Valley, Mickey is one of the characters that are there. When you start it, you get Mickey, Goofy, Merlin, Scrooge. Yeah, I think those are the characters that you start with. I'm trying to think of any other ones. But like as you go, you'll unlock more places, unlock more characters. And yeah, they're just walking around your valley. So, I moved all the houses for all my characters, uh, not all of them, but most of them here. I made this nice little, uh, this nice little neighborhood for them. So, Minnie's house is here. Merlin's house is here. Mickey's house is here. Wally's house is here, and he's also right next to his garden. So, Wally will do a garden, and every day he'll plant new vegetables that you can come over here and just take what you want. Because he, he grows them for you. So, this is how I stock up on all my vegetables every day if I'm only down one or two. And hope that he has the vegetables I need. So, yeah, I was just down on some lettuce. So, we have that now. Lucia Quinn, thank you for becoming an epic holomaniac. Which reminds me, uh, after this stream is over, we're going to talk about when uh, the epic holomaniac members only live stream is. It should be happening this weekend. And we'll figure out the date. Because my weekend is far more open now. We can totally do it. Oh, thank you, Animal Amy. You have Dreamlight Valley, and you really like it so far. You got Remy first. Nice. Remy is amazing. And yeah, and you need Remy to start cooking. So, yeah, you'd want to get him first because he can do a lot for you. And then I took every... <laughs> I took every... Wait, hang on. I need to spin the wheel for Amy. Here you go, Amy. Wheel spin for you. So, um, as you go throughout the game, you'll unlock other biomes, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Ooh. Voice of your choice. Who would you like, Animal Amy? So as you're playing through the game, you can actually unlock other biomes, and every biome will have a different fruit for you to collect via bear, uh, through trees and bushes. I went through and moved every single tree and bush right here so I can just go through and collect everything in one fell swoop, put anything I need to put into storage into storage, and then I sell the rest. And you can do that. Um, here, I'll actually go do it right now. And I'll show you guys a cool thing that is added uh, in this game. You can hang out with characters, and when you do, they will get you certain bonuses. And you get to choose what those bonuses are. Now, when I was first playing, I did not understand what this system was. So I made everybody gardening, because that's the default option, until I figured out what it was. So now, the last few characters that I have are the only different Hi ones. There. So Elsa was one of the ones I got last, and so she has the, oh. the harvesting one. So I told her, let's hang out. She's going to follow me now. And now as I'm harvesting all these berries, she's going to be following right behind me. And if she was not already level 10, she'll go up and level while we're going. And uh, she'll actually give me more berries and fruit while I'm harvesting. So yes, you see, she just threw some for me. And as we're going, she's going to throw more for me. Oh, and when you see that little yellow thing, that means I can just keep picking until I can't pick anymore. And see, she's just throwing more for me. <gasps> Thank you, Legolas. Uh, one, two, four, five. We're becoming an epic holomaniac. Keep an eye out for the on your uh, on the community tab that you guys can join the epic holomaniac members only live stream when that happens. Oh, Elsa, I'm not talking to you. I'm trying to harvest. That's another little problem is when you're harvesting or gardening and you get one of those and you're trying to just get the optimal amount of food and stuff you know that makes it hard because they're right next to you and they think you're trying to talk to them because the same button to harvest is the same button to talk to them 
Uh, let me make sure uh, that we have a voice pick for Animal Amy. I want to make sure. Animal Amy gets a voice of the one. Honest John from Pinocchio. Pinocchio! P I N. Well, we'll spend it later. Off to the theater! Hi, diddly dee! An actor's life for me! With a high silk hat and a silver cane! A watch of gold with a uh, something chain! Hi, diddly dee! An actor's life for me! <laughs> okay. So, yeah, as you see, she's just continuously giving me extra stuff as I'm harvesting. She doesn't always put it in my little path, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, it's relatively easy to get out of it and do that and go grab it real quick. Thank you, the official warehouse. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the gameplay. But let's spin the wheel for a second. This is so much easier to spin the wheel and talk to you all with because this is, there's nothing high stress in this game. It's all very low key and very chill. And there's almost no time limits on everything, which is so nice. Um, oh, you choose official warehouse. Anything on the wheel, you can do. If you don't know what's on the wheel, I'll go ahead and tell everybody. You can either do a hydrate where I have to take a drink. A Disney fact. I'll tell you guys a Disney fact. Uh, voice of your choice. You get to pick any impression. You can ask for Johan to come out for a few minutes. He's, uh, he's a fun character who likes to come out on the show. Uh, I'll do a voice of my choice if you don't want to make a choice. Franken voice of your choice, and that's it. Otherwise, it just repeats after that. <laughs> so what would you like? Oh, oh, diamond chain. That was the next line. So yeah, so I have this nice thing. I just go through, get all of the fruits and berries that I want or that I can get. And it's nice. You don't have to go through every single biome to get what you need. I unfortunately can't do that with everything because obviously there's the spices and whatnot that you can still only get there. But if I can streamline this process, I absolutely will. And I did. And so I made this nice little gardenish area. I can walk through, get everything that I need, and I'm good to go. Oh, and sometimes it'll do that where it just shoots out a bunch. And there are the ones in red, and they're only there for a limited time. And so you get as many as you can. Sometimes you can get them all, and sometimes not. Oh, Lucia Quinn, thank you. Love what you do. Glad to show support. I was contemplating getting this game, but watching you play is saving me that money. Well, there you go. But this is one that everybody can kind of do something different. So you may not want to do what I did and move all the bushes and plants here. But it's nice because now I've got all of these fruits that I didn't otherwise have. And I also have all those vegetables. So I can go to my house real quick, drop off what I need, and the rest we can go sell. And these rocks everywhere. But they give me more a uh, stone which I need so I'm not gonna complain a uh, voice of my own choice okay then I'll do some good Julian thank you official warehouse and yes uh, Lucia Quinn I'm going to spin the wheel for you thank you the official warehouse glad you enjoyed voice <laughs> uh, oh and you got a Disney fact Lucia Quinn um, Disney fact I was about to say, this music is new, but for any streamers out there, there is actually a setting that you can go to in sounds. You can put on streaming uh, streaming friendly mode, and you can actually get the music changed so that you're not dealing with uh, copyrighted music, which I did. So that's music that I don't normally hear because I normally am playing on regular mode. But yeah, you normally hear like Disney songs playing. So yeah, um, Disney fact. Um. Oh, uh, in the film The Reluctant Dragon, I think that was the one, Reluctant Dragon. There was a uh, there was a scene where you saw them working on an animated film and that animated film was Dumbo. I know that was kind of easy to tell because one of the scenes is literally a elephant standing in the middle of the room and they also had a thing with Casey Jr., but still a fun Disney fact. Um wait, what was I coming in here to do? Oh, yeah, I was coming in here to <laughs> drop off fruits and vegetables. Uh, let's see, what's low? Uh, raspberries. So we had five left over. I can sell those five. Apples, we were one low, so I will shoot over one apple. If I don't want to do math, I'll just throw it all over there and do the math later. But if it's simple like one, I can just split it here and bam. 
And then lemons, we need seven. So we'll throw that seven over there. Cool, so the fruits are all good. Uh, vegetables are almost good except for two lettuce, which is perfect, that's what we have. Uh, and potatoes, we're low on two potatoes, but I don't got no potatoes, so I'll probably have to grow some later, but yeah. It's mostly there. And I don't think we had any of this, we don't. We don't have anything there. Bright Star uh, 2392, thank you. Love watching your videos from the UK. Oh, thank you. Where did you put the streams when the stream is done? All the streams are still available. They're just in playlists. You have to go to the playlists to watch them. And every stream has been put into a playlist. So you go to my playlist on my channel. You can watch it all. I made a brand new playlist today just for Dreamlight Valley. So when this one's done, you can go to my playlist. Look for Dreamlight Valley. It's right there. Um, so when you're ready to sell stuff, you can go over here. Every biome has this stall, which is Goofy's stall. You can come up here. Goofy will come up. And you can buy or sell whatever you want. So Goofy has these stalls all over. So I want to get rid of these because we have too many. Basically, yeah, we're going to sell everything in here except for the rocks, the candy, and that one meal. Which I'll show you guys what meals are like in a second. I probably could have kept some of this. Oh, wait, no. We're not selling that. Ah. We're going to sell a lot. So this is half of how I get my money. For those of you guys who are wondering how I have so many coins. This is half how I do it. Oh, I missed that one. There we go. So that helps. But here's what really does it. Welcome to... Oh, hang on. Got that. Welcome to my garden. I will harvest all of these pumpkins with somebody else. And if I'm with somebody else who's a level 10 and has the gardening thing, I can usually get over a thousand pumpkins from this patch, which I only plant 340... No, 352. And then even then, I have another little patch over here that's normally for anything else. It's about 100 things. But right now, I don't have anything else that I need. So I just made it all pumpkins, too. So I can go through, collect all of these pumpkins, and sell them for a lot of money. We're talking half a million from these alone. So you do two good gardens of that. Bam. You're there. What's your opinion on Ireland? I have no issues with Ireland. I like Ireland. I've never been there, but would love to go. Dang, I know, right? I. <laughs> this is a lot of pumpkins, I know. But, like, watch this. Watch this. Okay, Elsa, thank you, but we're not hanging out anymore. Uh, Death Calculus, thank you. Uh, can you please do a Jack Sparrow's voice holding a jar of dirt? Love your voices. Look at all got, Skajili. Look at what I've got. I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? Hard <laughs> to I need to see. And yeah, if you're ever wondering where one of your characters are, like right now I'm looking for Remy, who was right there. I totally missed him. Uh, if you're looking for any characters, you can do that. And so this is the whole map that you have. It shows you where plants are, if you planted them, if they're ready to harvest or not. If they need to be watered, it'll show you that too. It's very handy, and you can teleport to all these different places. We have Frosted Heights, Forest of Valor, Dazzle Beach, Glade of Trust, Sunlit Plateau, and Forgotten Lands. And these are all places you have to unlock as you go. When you first get open the game, you only have Plaza and Peaceful Meadow, and then you'll eventually unlock everything else. So yeah, that's not a farm, that's an army, a pumpkin army. <laughs> Pretty much, but it gets me a lot of money. So one of the things I do is I personally like to uh, garden with Remy because he has the gardening thing. And also, he's a little. So his, his uh, what's the word? Like, his area of action is far smaller. So that whole problem that I mentioned earlier where you're trying to do something Remy, it happens on occasion, but not often. So I get Remy with me. So I can just go ahead and just start harvesting. And as we're going, he'll throw pumpkins at me. And he's barely going to get in my way, if at all. Like, see, we have one of those. I can sit here and do this. 
And see, he ran behind me. Because he's small, he can do that. And I really don't have that same issue like I do with them. And I don't like how sometimes the character will just not go in a straight line like you want him to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so between these extra things, like the little yellow sun thing, I don't know what to call that, where you get a bunch of extra ones, plus the one where Remy just keeps throwing all these pumpkins at you, you can make some serious money this way. Like, I've gotten to the point where sometimes I just don't put new pumpkins because I'm like, shoot, I don't need more right now. At most, I had almost three million, and then I spent a lot to upgrade my house to get more floors. But now I need to keep doing it doing more. Oh, the official warehouse, thank you. Can you voice Dracula saying something unamused of your choice? Really? Pumpkins, they are so cliche, Brian. I know that they give you more money than most other vegetables, but it's not very original. Come on. You you have you you are better than that. You are better than that. Come on, Brian. Um so yeah, as you're going along, you'll also unlock these. These are memories. Uh, cause the whole thing is like, this whole world has been forgotten. So as you're going, you're unlocking pieces and you're recovering memories. So yeah. Um, did you know about the technique that lags the game a little bit, Brian? Oh, the one where you like lock a character up in like a little fence and then after they're done, you drop it all off. Yes, I don't want to do that. I've seen that, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, so I can tell you guys, this is two rows of 22 each so each row is 22 pumpkins so if we're doing regular math if i just did regular plants i should have only had 44 pumpkins in my inventory right now i do not i have 132 when i should only have 44 so yeah i can get a lot of pumpkins this way uh so yeah we'll go ahead and do some more gardening now, granted, pumpkin seeds are expensive, but if you can get a good amount, like, the profit margin you get from pumpkins is massive. You can make a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. No, you're totally right, Margaret. You're totally right. You got your more pumpkins in your garden than Rabbit does, I bet. For sure. I have two YouTubers doing Disney Dreamlight Valley. You and Fairy, uh, Fairy Queens. This is cool. Oh, good! I'm glad that you're enjoying that. So yeah, I didn't get any of the extra uh, stuff right there. Oh, you can that's a new thing. Also, while you're gardening, you get up. Oh. All right, okay, are y'all back? I know y'all disappeared for a while. <laughs> I know y'all disappeared for a while. I hope everything's... At least this isn't happening with something like Kingdom Hearts where crazy stuff is happening. This is a very chill game. So, sorry about that. Um, yes, sometimes this happens where while I'm doing this, pumpkins just kind of get thrown over here. It doesn't happen that often. I don't know why Remy's doing it today, but sometimes he just tosses them over here. I think that's a glitch they're working on. But, yeah. It happens on occasion, but usually not very often, especially with Remy. I think he's only done this one other time. Unfortunately, it's when you're on stream seeing it. <laughs> All right, I'll go through and harvest more of these later. But yeah, you get it. This is where this is easy for me to like a normal patch of this size that I harvest with will give me about 600,000 coins. Easy. Maybe sometimes even more. Um, other than that, let's go to some of the biomes and show you guys some of that. Um, like, see, here we have the Glade of Trust. Oh, this one has a lot of thorns. I have not gotten rid of some of these thorns yet. So we need to do that. It's the mushrooms. Get rid of the mushrooms. Um, I saw somebody saying they wanted to know how to get clay. If you go through all of the scar, the scar quests... You can upgrade your shovel to be able to get rid of wildebeest uh, bones. And every time you get rid of wildebeest bones, you get clay. That was a fast way that I did that. But before that, yeah, I had to get a bunch of clay just digging up 
the sunlit plateau. I dug so much of that. But what I've learned is, you can actually leave your holes in the ground, and after a couple days, they'll actually fill themselves in. Which is good whenever you've, like, completely, you know, dug up this area and you don't want to go through and patch up everything on your own. Um, but if you're doing a, if you have it all set aside for like a big garden and you just forget to put in, uh, vegetables in time or seeds in time, they will fill up, which kind of sucks. Cause like that big, that big pumpkin place that y'all saw that I have that happened to that once. That was not fun. That was not fun at all. Uh, Ooh, animal Amy. Thank you. Is there any biomes and characters you would like to see and befriend in the next update? So, uh, with some of the later ones, I'm also going to give you a wheel spin. Um, some of these you don't really get a whole lot with. Let me... Oh, voice of your choice. Who would you like, Animal Amy? Um, like, when I unlocked this, the Glade of Trust I was in, I immediately had access to Mother Gothel. Her house is in the middle. Here, I'll show you her house. Can I get this coin in time? Yes, I could. Yay! And I got extra coins for that. Um, so yeah, this is Mother Gothel's house. It's basically a giant tree. You can go in here. So when I got here, like, Mother Gothel was here. I had a lot of quests to do with her. Her house is weirdly small and not very decorated, especially the way she tends to run things. But still looks cool. Um, but yeah, no, there was a big... Uh, there was a big story quest. I don't want to go too far into it for those guys who haven't played because it was kind of a fun surprise. But I get here, and there was, like, a big story quest we got to do. There's these things that are in every single biome. This thing. And you have to help it. Because when you get there, it's all covered in purple, and it's all like, Neh. And that means that if it's all good and it's not covered in purple, then it'll, like, keep away curses and stuff and make things nice and protect all the villagers so you have to go through and fix them all and every time you do there's like a big story quest revolved in it well there was a few places when we opened them up you couldn't do anything with them <gasps> kayla thank you four months in and i'm still super proud of you oh thank you um yeah there was a couple other places when we unlocked them we couldn't do anything with them which was kind of sad because that's one of the best parts um sunlit valley was one of them they did just fix that with the scar update so Scar, when Scar was brought in, he just came in last week, week before. Yeah. It opened up and we could totally do stuff with that and do the main quest, which is that over, it's this over here. So I've already done that. It's already good now. It's not covered in purple anymore. Um, but I, there's still a few that we can't do anything with, which is kind of sad because I would love to be able to do more. But like I said, this game is still a work in progress. Um, there's a lot of things that, uh, we can do now. We couldn't before, and there's still more stuff on the way. Like, this mine, this mine was not here before. That came along with the update. And yeah, I was saying, whoever was talking about mining, uh, iron and gold, how that's really difficult, that mine makes it so much easier. Uh, yeah, there's Scar's house, obviously, the giant elephant graveyard. Um, but yeah, you come up here to the Forgotten Lands. There's all this fire that we can't get rid of, at least not yet. And then, where is its uh, orb thingy? Yeah, its orb thingy is over here. It's still covered in purple. Can't do anything with it. It kind of sucks. Oh, thank you, Jeff Baxter, for becoming a holomaniac. And the fact that you became a member. But you can still be a holomaniac without being a member. You know what I mean? The holomaniac level of membership. It's like, yeah, this is one that has not been fixed yet. And we can't do anything about it right now. Bright Star, thank you. Can I have a Winnie the Pooh impression saying hi, Nicole? Hello, Nicole. This is Winnie the Pooh Bear here. <laughs> I hope you're having a very lovely day. I hope your day is as sweet as a pot of honey. Oh, which is very sweet indeed. Yeah, so there's that. Um, and yeah, the same thing happens over here. In Frosted Heights, we haven't been able to do anything with it. Um, we've been able to do Dazzle Beach, Glade of Trust... Peaceful Meadow, now Sunlit Plateau. Plaza didn't have one. So yeah, now we're just waiting for 
Forgotten Lands, and Frosted Heights. Those are the only two we can't do stuff with. But yeah. What makes iron easy to get? Um, I wouldn't necessarily... It's easy, but it's easier. In the fact... Iron is only available in this biome, Glade of Trust. This biome, Force of Valor. Frosted Heights. And then Sunlit Plateau and Forgotten Lands. Which sounds like it would be a lot, but it's actually not. Because iron was introduced in the glade when you unlock the Glade of Trust. So you can get start getting it here. So Glade of Trust and Force of Valor are where you're going to find the most iron. Where, mo where most of them you get at least a little bit of iron. Not all of them, but most of them. Once you get to Frosted Heights, Sunlit Plateau, and Forgotten Lands, they introduce diamonds and crystals and... Uh, uh, and gold and other things so that's going to be primarily what their focus is and they might throw you an iron or two but it's not much then they gave us the mines which was so much nicer in the fact you really only you can only mine at these places like these rocks this is what you mine i should have one of my mining characters with me but i don't so i should probably go get some I've got Remy. So yeah, that was almost that was all gold what I just got. All of that was gold. No iron. But you can go in here now. And now you've got this beautiful mine that most biomes only have maybe five places you can mine or maybe. This one, there are these that you can mine and there's like 12 in here. So I have now gotten into a rotation that I can just kind of go into a circle uh, between, I can go in a circle from like starting in the Sunlit Plateau, go through the mine, come out, get the stuff in Sunlit Plateau, do a lap around Forgotten Lands, come back and do that again. I can do this lap about one, uh, two or three times and get like 50, 60 pieces of iron. It's so helpful. Before I like had to do a little bit over here, then do a, then do some over here, and that's where I was going to get most of my iron and everything else was like piddles. But this is, you get quite a bit of iron in here, which I really appreciate that. Cough reason for Seven Dwarfs update. Cough, cough. There has to be Seven Dwarfs associated with this. There has to be. There's no way it's not. Um, but yeah, we'll do a little bit of mining in here. Scar, come here. Scar is one of the characters that I have uh, I've got the mining uh, mining upgrade with. So much you like did it. Oh, thank Huzzah. you. Oh, thank you, Scar. Huzzah. <laughs> um, yeah. He can come with me, and then as I'm going throughout the game, I'm mining stuff, and then he can he'll give me more stuff as I'm mining. It's like that one. I got vital crystals, some iron. And so Scar threw me another vital crystal. But yeah, I know there's all these mines back here with like broken down mine carts and stuff. It's actually really cool. And this we didn't get to like last week. This was so helpful. Because yeah, they introduced like these sapphires and rubies. So yeah, that's going to be a big chunk of what you got plus the vital crystals. But they at least still do a decent chunk of, ore, of iron. Now with that, I got some iron in there. I think it was two pieces of iron. And then uh, Scar gave me a crystal. If they don't add seven doors soon, I need to chat with people. Well, as of right now, they haven't said that's coming, but I'd be shocked if they have no intentions of bringing it in the game at all. So the plan is for this to them to add a lot more. So yeah, that one was just golden vital crystals, but still, that's awesome. Now, Scar can't go into this part, but he can still throw me stuff, even though he can't come this far in. I'll keep an eye out because sometimes he just chucks things down the, the hallway. But this part's kind of fun because, like, uh, you can actually, like, s no, not this part. It's the next part. As I'm going, you can actually see Scar, like, running around the other side since he can't fit through some of these. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. See, he just threw some vital crystals over here even though he can't get here. Which is a nice little thing that I like that they added. It's like, yeah, he technically can't get here, but if you watch, you can see him run across the... Oh, you saw him! <laughs> he ran across trying to get to you on this side. They better involve dwarves. I mean, it only makes sense. Why would they introduce a mine like this and not have the dwarves? 
Yeah, no, I don't think he threw anything on that one. That's fine. Uh, Paulina Northcage, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you. There's Scar. Yeah, sometimes he glitches and he's like supposed to give you something, but then he can't for some reason. But at least they're good about the fact if I go to the next one and just start doing it, he won't follow me. But after I finish it, he'll throw what he was supposed to throw at that one. How do you become a member? You don't see the join button. It should be right by the subscribe button. But as we found, some people are having a hard time finding it. I've already talked with YouTube about it. And they know. And I believe they're trying to do something to mitigate that. But I don't know what they're going to do as of yet. And hopefully it comes soon. But yeah, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, depending on whatever device you're on. You can go into start to do a super chat. And it'll say become a member in there. If you hit the super chat button and it pulls up that menu. I believe that happens if you're on an Android device. If you're on an Apple device, you have to go to like the main channel, like my main channel, and you can become a member there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of issues with that. Otherwise, if you're on a desktop, you should be able to do it from right there, hopefully. But yeah, there's a few ways you can do it. Unfortunately, there's not a super simple, easy answer to that. How far in the game are you? I've gotten myself to max level. I have unlocked every character, gotten them to max level. Um, and yeah, I'm very far in the game. I've put in well in, into 100 hours over. <laughs> I've put in well, well over 100 hours into this game. I have so much fun with it. Simba's not in the game yet? No. Brian digs in the wrong spot. Suddenly the mine collapses. And <laughs> That would be funny. You can't do that, but that would be really funny. Um, yeah, for those guys who missed it before, I'll show you all the characters you can get so far. You can get Merlin. He comes as soon as you start your game. Wally, you unlock. Maui, Moana, you unlock them. Remy, you unlock. Scar comes whenever you unlock a certain part in the game. Ariel, Prince Eric, and Ursula, you have to unlock. Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Mother Gothel, Donald, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Scrooge. Thank you, Paulina Northridge. Thank you for becoming a Holomaniac member. Oh, and uh, Jen AC, thank you. Love you, Brian. Thanks for making me smile and laugh throughout the years. Oh, thank you. And let's spin the wheel for you. And I believe I still owe that uh, to Animal Amy, who just said Toucan Sand from Fruit Loops. Just follow your nose. <laughs> I am Toucan Sam. Uh, ooh, Franken voice of your choice. Gen AC, what Franken voice would you like? See, I need to get rid of these. So a little word to the wise. If you're trying to get a lot of Dreamlight, um, make sure if it's one of these Dreamlight duties and you unlock it, immediately get rid of it. Like immediately unlock it. Because otherwise it's just going to sit here and wait. And you could be unlocking a new thing that while you were wait while you were doing something else, you're blocking yourself from being able to have a new option. So just a little thing. Simba needs to be in this. Simba, if you watch some of the trailers, Simba's there. Like, if you watch some trailers for this game, there's a lot of characters that have obviously, that are obviously going to come because we see them in game. Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa have all been seen in trailers. So eventually they'll all be in here, I'm sure. Wreck-It Ralph is one of them. And we've already seen something that has acknowledged that. And we also have uh, furniture from Wreck-It Ralph in the game. So, like, yeah, I think the best way we're going to know what characters are coming is by going into the furniture. Um, it actually, like, puts it all out into different uh, movies and stuff and, like, shows where they all are. So, I, my bet is if the character is not already – if a movie, if a character from that movie is not in the game, that it's coming. Because we have Mickey and Friends. We have a lot of characters from Mickey and Friends. Sword in the Stone, we already have Merlin. Wally, we already have Wally. But I would be shocked if we don't get Eve. I think people have seen Eve in trailers. Like, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Moana, we already have Moana and Maui. Uh, Ratatouille, we already have Remy. But Sleeping Beauty is mentioned in here, as you see. I just don't have anything for her yet. And we don't have anyone for Sleeping Beauty, so Maleficent, Aurora, the fairies, they're all game. Beauty and the Beast, we don't have anyone for Beauty and the Beast yet, but Belle is on the, tie on the main <laughs> picture of the game very prominently. So there is no way Belle's not coming, and I would assume Beast or Gaston would not be far behind. Um, Wreck-It Ralph. We've seen Ralph in trailers, so I'm sure he and Vanellope will be here. Cinderella. I haven't seen Vanel uh, Cinderella in trailers, but look at all this 
furniture she's got. Cinderella's got to be in this game eventually. Lion King, we have a lot of that. We've already gotten Scar, but yeah, we've seen Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa in trailers. They're coming. I'm sure Nala and Rafiki also. Little Mermaid, we've got Ariel, Eric, and Ursula. We might get more. Frozen, we've got Anna, Elsa, and Kristoff. We might get more. Tangled, we only have Mother Gothel, but I'd be shocked if we don't get Rapunzel as well. Monsters, Inc., we don't have anybody, but I think people have said they've seen them in trailers also. I don't remember about that. Toy Story, they've already announced that's coming. But we've already had merchant. Uh, we've already had furniture for them. And Toy Story is going to be the next update. So Toy Story will be coming very soon. Lilo and Stitch. Stitch is also prominently on the artwork. He's got to be in there. The Incredibles, I'm sure, will be coming. Hercules. Hercules. I have not seen Hercules as an option until after the update. So maybe Hercules will be coming as well. Coco. Maybe we'll get somebody from Coco. Cars, I don't know how they would do, but maybe. Buzz Lightyear. Well, Lightyear specifically. I don't know about that one. I think that was just to promote the movie. Up. I hope we get Carl. Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. We see we have some uh, We have some furniture for Snow White. We're probably going to get Snow White characters. If not, at least some of the dwarves. Maybe just Grumpy and Dopey or something. I don't know if they put all seven dwarves. Maybe. But like Snow White, Grumpy, and Dopey for sure. I'd be shocked if they didn't put them. And yeah, this is all the non-Disney related stuff. But still... They're, they've got to come. I'd be shocked if they're going to put this much furniture in here for these characters and they not have any representation whatsoever. The only Hercules stuff we get is from the Star Path and it's Hades stuff. Oh, right. Right. I've already gotten some of them, but I do not have all of them. Oh, I've already got that Hades. But yeah, um, we got this motif. We got the Well of Souls, which I still need to unlock. I need to go through and do more of this because we don't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> I've only got 26 days to get through it all. <laughs> and I want to unlock everything. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. But yeah. So yeah, that's a good... Uh, events are going on all the time. We had a Pixar one when the game first started. And like while you're going through it, there are special duties you do to unlock this currency, which is like the little pumpkins. And you do these, uh, you're going to get pumpkins instead of starlight. And these are a lot tougher than the normal one. So catch 30 fish from Dazzle Beach, that takes a long time. Whereas your Dreamlight ones are going to be like, bring a friend their favorite gift. Catch just three seafood. Have one daily discussion. Take one picture. These are easy. The event one's not so much. Same with Snow White. It's Evil Queen stuff. Yeah, but like I said, I'd be shocked if they're not adding some of this in and have no intention of bringing these characters in at all. That's my thing. Olaf should be in the game. He could come in. Like, I, I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to explain this best I can. This game is still technically not finished. They've already said that there's a ton more characters coming. They've already promised that. In fact, you look at the trailer, there's a ton of characters in those trailers that are not in the game yet. Jennifer, thank you. So 100%, they're bringing more. They've already said Toy Story is next. Scar wasn't there when we started the game. And like, every door brings out new characters, and some of them you get more than one character. Like the Moana one, we got Maui and Moana. Wally, we just got Wally. Remy, we just got... Ratatouille, we just got Remy. Is the character you? I kind of based him on me. <laughs> As good as I could get. Uh, Frozen, we got Anna, Elsa, and Kristoff. But, like, yeah, see, this is what they look like before. So they could obviously do a character here. They could do a movie franchise here. They could do some over here. There's, like, I think somebody went through and counted. There are 30 doors that are not available right now. But could easily uh, be turned into somewhere. So... I think the goal is they want to have representation from every single Disney uh, property, Pixar, uh, anything that's animated within the Disney property realm. Like every representation from every Pixar film, Disney animated film, they have options. There's so many things they can do with this. And they're, they've they already promised that they're going to do a lot more. So, <clears throat> I feel like I'm a spokesperson for the game. Hey, you totally buy it. Funny thing is, we actually, I actually did talk with the game, <laughs> the company that developed this game, about maybe doing a sponsored thing, but uh, they ended up not wanting to do it. But 
I was still having fun with the game, so I did it anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you see, that's the that's the Mickey statue that I ended up making. So you can craft stuff, all that jazz. So yeah, there's so mi there's so much room for growth in this game, and not only will it grow, they've already promised that it will. Technically, you don't unlock Kristoff in the Frozen Realm. Well, I mean, you can't unlock Kristoff until you get Anna and Elsa, which you get from the Frozen Realm. <laughs> Hi, Brian. How's your day so far? It's good. It is good. It's always a good day when I get to do some Dreamlight Valley. I see he has a beard. Yes, I did. I did style him pretty closely after myself. Um, but yeah, you can go through later and still customize things. You can't uh, change. Um, you, you, you can't change as much as I would have liked. You still change a ton. I used to like take away his beard. I can add face paint. I can do mouth changes, jaw, nose, body, eyebrows, hairstyle. All right, no, you can. Okay. But yeah, no. There's a, there's a ton of stuff you can do. And one of the cool things is, like, even stuff that is established in the game, not everything but most of the stuff, you can still move around. Like, see, I did not put these light posts here. They were there when I started the game. I could take them and move them around and do whatever I want. But I like it where it is, so it's going to go right back. But, like, even things you think shouldn't be able to move can move. Like, for example, when I want to get to another place and I want to get there quickly, they do have, like, spawning points. I can click that button and I can teleport to an area. If I don't like where this is teleporting me, I can actually change where uh, the well actually is teleporting me. So I can move that wherever I want. Which, if you guys are in a part of the game where you're like in the frozen area here and if this is blocked off and you can't get to this other part, Spawn in, get what you want, and then move the well back so you can spawn out. It totally works, and it was very nice. <laughs> I utilized it. I'm giving y'all a little. <laughs> I'm giving y'all a little cheat on that one. Uh, oh yeah, but my energy's low now. So you see that top bar in my top left, that blue that's almost out. That's my energy. I either eat food or I can go back to my house and it automatically replenishes. Animal Amy, thank you. You want to befriend Tigger? He's your favorite Winnie the Pooh character. Hey, you should. <laughs> I'd be shocked if they don't put Winnie the Pooh characters in here pretty soon. So hopefully that will be the case. <gasps> Johan. We'll get Johan here in just a little bit. What about Olaf? As of right now, I haven't heard anything about Olaf, but I would be shocked if they don't put Olaf in here. It would make all the sense in the world, so they probably will. Kayla, thank you. Uh, do you have do you have the, to play this game often like Animal Crossing or can you play it anytime? You can play it whenever you want. Uh, it just uh, it there's it's much friendlier to time than Animal Crossing is for multiple reasons. Um, oh Disney fact. Um, Disney fact is. Um. Oh yeah, uh, the reason why Fantasia had so many natural elements in there and was so out of the ordinary was because whenever Walt Disney Studios was first getting started, most of their artists were not really specialized in cartooning specifically, but he, uh, Walt acquired them because he was one of the only artists, only people hiring artists during the Great Depression. Oh yeah, and there are these blue, uh, treasure chests that give you moon points which you need for events and stuff um yeah so he just took any artist that was willing to learn how to draw cartoons but most of them were specialized in other areas so he wanted a way for them to shine and so that was partially why fantasia turned out the way it did um and thank you jen uh jen uh i see Oh, and I didn't give you, um, I'm sorry, Jin AC. I was supposed to give you more options. I was supposed to give you a Franken voice of your choice. And I did not. I'm so sorry. 
Have you uh, have you told me what that is? Have you gotten frustrated playing this game? Um, a little bit, but mostly it's whenever it comes to uh, glitches, which the, the 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 devs are good about fixing. They they find out about them pretty soon. You've lost sleep playing this game. No, I I get you, I get you. Uh, I want to make sure that maybe for the full game, maybe. Wait, Stitch isn't in the game? No, not yet. You made a lot of you made a lot of comments. I don't see one for the Franken voice that you redeemed. Um, let me do that. Stitch or Stitch or Minnie Mouse? Well, it's a Franken voice, so you get to uh, put two, pick two, and mix them together. So I'll mix Stitch and Minnie. Well, if you just want a voice, I'll do that too. Oh, ta 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 Oh, it's the rant Stitch. Stitch. He's not in the game yet, but we'll do Stitch here. <laughs> but he will be in the game. He's already in all the artwork. There's no reason he wouldn't be there. So, yeah, you just go to your house. You get your energy back up. So, I'll do Johan in just a second. But, yes, to answer your question, Kayla, it is much friendlier on time. Uh, there are a few things that are specific, like, um, like with uh, Scrooge's Shop. Every day he brings out new materials. Some of them are repeats, some of them are not. So if you don't go to a shop every day, you run the risk of possibly missing out on something. But, you know, the game doesn't penalize you if you don't. This is all extra. This is all extraneous. If you miss a day, it's you're not going to lose out on a quest. Quests are usually not time... Actually, I don't think any are time-related. None of them are time-related. Um... And the fact that you have to do it in a certain amount of time. There are some where it's like, oh, plant this thing in the ground. And once it's done growing, bring it back to me. Those will take however long the plant needs to. Some of them, it's a matter of minutes. Some of them, it's a matter of hours. Sometimes it's a matter of days. So you never really know. But none of them are going to penalize you for not pl the game. This game does not penalize you for playing every for not playing every day. It rewards you if you do. But you will not, you will not, uh, there's nothing major in the game that you will lose out on. It's just, you will not progress as quickly, but that's fine. Um, another thing is you have critters. So not every critter is going to be out every day, all the time. They have set times and dates, which you will see at the bottom of the screen. It'll show you like the golden sunburn, Solding golden sunbird. It's not here today. The Emerald Sunbird is, and it'll be out here all day. Now, there are certain there are certain critters that are only out one day for a short window of time. That's really the only thing that I can think of that's that time specific. Like, Classic Squirrel will be out all day when it does come. Same thing with the Gray Squirrel. It's out all day. Red Squirrel, same thing. The White Squirrel is the rare one in this one, and it only came out on Sunday mornings between, like, 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. That one was a pain. But I did it, so I don't have to do that anymore. The White Crocodile, I think, is Sundays from 6 p.m. to, like, 12 a.m. Uh, the Brown Raven, which is the new one I discovered, is Tuesdays, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Black Sea Turtle is the rare one. It's only out on Mondays between 10 a.m. and 2, uh, 2 p.m. Um, the Red Fox, Saturday mornings between... Uh, I know it ends at 8, but I think it's 8 in the morning. I think it starts at, like, 4 a.m.? Something like that. The white raccoon's always there. It was the blue one. The blue one, I forgot what day that one came. But that one wasn't a crazy time. That's really... Oh, and the calico rabbit was a certain time frame, but I can't remember what it is right now. Puppet streamers. Thank you. You're shocked that Jim Cummings is not in here. Not in here yet. But that doesn't mean he's not coming. So, like, we only have 18 characters right now. We will have more. And there's no way they're not going to add a Jim, a Jim Cummings character at some point. There is no way they're not. So, I know some people are disappointed with the character roster right now. But, like I said, this game is still under construction. There's a lot coming. And technically, the game isn't even truly out yet in their mindset. Because the game is going to be free to play next year. And at that point, that's going to be what their final game was supposed to look like at the beginning. Um, you could just This is early access. So there is a ton more characters coming. 
Uh, thank you, Jen AC. Do I still go to the parks and do your impressions with characters or cast members? Um, I don't go as often as I used to, but I will still do that on occasion. Um, but I don't do it as often as I used to, but yes. And you get a real spin for that. And it's another Johan, so we'll have we'll have a double dose of Johan here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you go throughout the places, you collect stuff. Yeah. Hearing your impressions makes me happy and cheerful again. Oh, thank you. Ha uh, thank you so much for making these amazing videos. Happy to do it, I can. I haven't showed y'all much about fishing, which is really nice. So as you guys see, e there's ripples in the water and they're different colors. This is how you fish. You can fish where there's no bubbles, but this one you're guaranteed to get a white ripple. You're guaranteed to just get like the base fish here. It's not crazy. It's not anything amazing. It's just kind of there. The gold one is going to be the rare one that you only get every so often. But you can always get at least one a day, if not more, except for fugu, which I'll talk about later. Um, I want to see if I can find a blue one because the blue one... It's a little different. Maybe there's some in Dazzle Beach. I haven't shown y'all Dazzle Beach yet. Huh. Ah, Dazzle Beach. Yes, there's a blue one. So then there's blue ones. This will get you some of the more expensive fish. They're not quite as rare, but they're like medium rare. But they're normally weirdly worth more money sometimes. So you can fish just like this. It's a little mini game. One of the characters will come up. I should have my fishing buddy with me. But I forgot to do that. And like while you're fishing, they'll give you extra fish and stuff. Much like the gardening and everything. I did that poorly. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. And the blue one here is usually shrimp. Yeah. So you can get yourself some shrimp. And, like, that one counts as seafood, not fish specifically. Um, yeah, and as you're going, you can also unlock... Yeah, see, these are all the... There's some houses that can only go on the water. Like Maui's house, Donald's uh, boat house, Ariel's house, Ursula's house. And Eric's house doesn't technically have to be, but I threw him down here just because I want him to be with all the Little Mermaid characters. Uh, but as you're going, you can actually unlock Mo Moana's uh, boat, and she will go out and just get you a bunch of fish every day. Sometimes they're rare ones. Sometimes they're all just kind of, you know, common stuff. Cod is, like, the most common fish you can get. They're everywhere. Rainbow trout, pretty much the same. Shrimp's a little... All right. Hang on. There is a... There is a... There is a lag again. Luckily, this is not a crazy game, so we're... Good. It's not that bad. It's annoying, but it's not as bad as it was with, like, Kingdom Hearts and stuff. That was a pain. For me, it's the rainbow trout that you always get. I know. It's so annoying, right? So much rainbow trout. But yeah, no, there was so much cod. I was like swimming in it. Ha, uh, I get it now. So yeah, this is an easier way to get sand. You can just hit these little brain corals and get those once you unlock that. And they show up every day, so you can keep mining it that way. I was supposed to be getting that with the uh, with the wildebeest bones, but I haven't seen them come up since I got rid of them in Sunlit Plateau. But I hope that they fix that, because I would like... That was an easy way to get clay. That was very nice. I need to get this on on Steam. Not like I don't have a million games like this to play. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a ton of fun with it. Like, I adore playing this every day. And I, I have first got it through Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you can play it for free right now. Um, that's how I started doing it. But then I actually went through and paid for a version because I just had so much fun. I wanted all the things, so I voluntarily paid for it just because I wanted the extra things. And there's a ton of, like, extra furniture and stuff you can get. And you get a crud ton of moonstones, which is very, very helpful. Yeah, like, see, oh, yeah, we didn't do the Dazzle Beach one. Or at least this one. This one never got fixed. So that's another one that I haven't been able to do anything with, which is kind of annoying. But... I'm betting because we're, it's right here by what looks like Skull Rock. This is going to lead to, like, Neverland or something. And you're going to be able to do, like, Peter Pan stuff and Captain Hook stuff and things like that. So, yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see this earlier. Animal Amy, thank you. Are you open to collapse with your subscribers? If yes, then can we collapse someday? Um, it really depends on if the subscriber that I have has a channel. What are they about? I need to be able to see videos on your channel. I'm like, okay, it's just stuff that I think that would be good to work with. Because I've had a lot of people reach out and be like, hey, you'd be my first video. I'm like, I don't, I can't do that for, <laughs> for, uh, for brand reasons just because it's like I need to know what's your level of quality what kind of content are you making what what am I going to be aligning myself with if I don't know what that's going to be it's it's automatically a no for me but if I see that you've got really good content that is something that I think we could do something really cool together then I'm not opposed but I have to see it to know what that is um, yeah this will take you up to the glade of uh, the, the forest of valor I don't think we've talked about that yet but uh, you did get a wheel spin. I need to spin that for you, Amy. I don't know. We still have two Johans. He'll come out here in a little bit. Uh, Franken voice of your choice. What Franken voice would you like, Animal Amy? I know you wanted to hear Mini earlier. You want me to just do Mini? Or would you like to pick uh, characters to actually like do? Um, and here's one that I thought was a little weird. This is Anna's house. You'd think this was Elsa's. But this is Anna's. Weird. And then uh, Kristoff has another stand here, much like Goofy does. But I feel like half of the stuff he's selling, I don't really want. Although, right now I am low on stone. That would actually be nice to buy some of that. Okay, so I get kind of that one. But why softwood? Softwood is wood I've got so much of, it's not even funny. Um, snow, maybe. I can see myself buying that. I have bought fabric from him and glass, because sometimes that's a pain. Sand, yeah, I've bought sand from him. Okay, I get some of this. But if he sold, like, iron or gold... Oh, he would be like the richest man in the valley. I'd buy stuff from him every dadgum day. <laughs> but I, I think they did that on purpose, so you can't just keep doing that. Did I know there's a Mr. Incredible costume? Yes, I have it. I have it. Is there a reason Kristoff looks so sparkly? Oh, they all look sparkly. I don't know why, but they're all they all have sparkles. I don't know why, but yes, literally every character except for you has sparkles. And this is weird. So you saw Anna's house. This is Elsa's. It's a big old ice cave. Which, granted, they did kind of base this a lot off of Frozen 2 and not Frozen 1. But, like, wouldn't you want her ice palace from the first one? Like, you go down here. It's kind of cool. Like, you go through her, like, ah! you help her figure out what's calling to her. Which is kind of cool. But it's also like, I kind of want to see your giant ice palace. That's really cool. Not a cave. But I get it. What are my thoughts on Tim Burton leaving Disney? Was he ever truly with Disney? He kind of was. He was kind of just an independent contractor with them. Um, like, I know for a while there he was. Uh, uh, he was an animator for him. But for the most part, he just. He makes movies with whatever studio just will work with him. Disney sometimes, Warner Brothers sometimes, Universal sometimes. He worked wherever he could do it. And there was, it was more like an independent contractor thing. He's like, hey, we'll do this movie with you for a little bit. And once that's over, bring us another movie. We might do another one. Or Warner Brothers would do it. So it's not really like you're a director associated with just one studio. You can have good ties with them. But, you know, he's probably just jumping around the studios like he always does. He is not exclusively a Disney director. That's not really how entertainment works, usually. <laughs> like, you know, just because I did a film with Sony doesn't mean I can never do one with Disney. Not at all. Y you go wherever people hire you. That's kind of how this industry <laughs> works. Very rarely is it that is it like that otherwise. Well, her ice palace would be awesome to see. I know, right? Why did we get the cave? But maybe you can, like, get her ice palace later. I mean, we have a lot of ice furniture that would look really cool. So yeah, sometimes I'll just run around like this, just pick up whatever uh, spices and wood and flowers are around if I'm running out of things to do. But yeah, there's always stuff I can do. You would like uh, the characters come every month? Ugh, wouldn't that be a dream? But I don't know if they can get them out quite that fast. But we, it is amazing that just within one fall season, we're going to get Scar in the Halloween update, which we just got. And then they said before fall is out, so probably next month. We're going to get Toy Story. That, to me, is amazing progress that they can go that fast. 
And like, yeah, Toy Story is gonna be one of those, like we go into the castle and we go into like their world for a little bit. So yeah. I know a lot of people are saying it looks bare bones right now. And yeah, that's cause it is. There is far more to come. The game is technically still not done. So if, you, if this is still too early for you and you're like, there's not enough, then yeah, don't worry about it. Don't get it right now. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh yeah. Cause I started with the pumpkins and I didn't finish. Whoops. That was part of it. So I go through and sell some of this. How's it going? All right, let's sell some. I'm gonna sell these pumpkins, even though I didn't finish my pumpkin, my pumpkin patch. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, that that got me like a ton, and you saw that was just a little bit. That was like almost two thousand coins. Probably Toy Story in the end of November. That's my guess, too. It'd probably be, like, right after or right before Thanksgiving is my guess. Careful not to sell the wood. Ah, no. Well, that I have so much soft wood, it's not even funny. Like, I've got way too much soft wood. I could sell the soft wood and I'd be fine. It's the hard wood, the dry wood, and the dark wood. That's the pain. Because, like, yeah. Like, look at all my... I have so much soft wood. I've got, like, 100, 200, 300, 400 pieces... Almost like, yeah, 400 pieces of soft wood. I've only got like 18 dark wood because that's just hard to find. 28 dry wood. I just spent a lot. Of, I just craft something with that. So, yeah. So, I'd be fine if I sold the wood. I'm not going to, but I would be. Like, see, I did a few uh, mining expeditions earlier, so I still can make a lot of iron ore and I can make a lot of. I can make. I had a lot of gold and a lot of ore, so I can make quite a few with that one. Uh, get my rich soil in here. Yeah, I can go get rid of some of this. Uh, get some stone in here. But yeah, I'm going to also get rid of this candy. Wondering who can use the pool, Remy. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody can use the pool. It's just there to look cool. I wish you could use the pool. That would be so awesome. But yeah, right now, there's no way to use the pool as far as I know. Um, yeah, we can throw you in here. Throw some sand in here. You go in here. I have my system that's all organized. And it makes life so much easier. I know where everything goes. Everything has its place. And I can keep track of all the things that I have. But yes. Do you think they'll add Max to the game since they have Goofy? Um, oh, maybe. Oh, you want to... Franken voice of Mickey and Oswald. Hang on. <clears throat> oh boy! Hiya there, pal! It's your old friend Oswald Mouse! Or Mickey Rabbit! Or something like that. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness. That's what I need to do for my storage. I mean, this helps me. Like, I, I've separated them all so I remember where everything is. This is all my fruits and vegetables and spices, anything that I harvest like that. This is bags of seeds plus uh, items that I buy at Remy's. This is all gems and crafted items. This is all of like the big crafting materials that you don't have to craft to make. Like, I can't just go find brick somewhere. I have to craft brick. Everything but soil. For some reason, I added soil into like the... I was going by this. The collection one, like the crafting items. Anything that's in the crafting one went into that chest. So they added soil here for some weird reason. Oh. I think that's supposed to be rich soil. But yeah, no, going back to the critters and why some of these aren't unlocked yet. I think there's just something going on with, with them since the update. I haven't been able to unlock any new critters. But they've added new stuff like in crafting. I have soil and I have rich soil and I have a lot of both. Spike, thank you. But it's grayed out like I haven't collected any. But I have I have a ton of it. I have hundreds of regular soil and almost a hundred rich soil. Um, and then like you go into foraging, rich soil, it says I have none. I have almost a hundred. But yeah, there's still just there's just some weird stuff going on. But once again, it's an early game, so you're gonna have stuff like this. Um, meals. I've unlocked a recipe for every meal. It says I haven't unlocked one, but I totally have. It was root beer. Yeah, I've made like five root beers. Because one of them you have to for a quest. 
gems. Y'all saw. I have rubies. I've got sapphires. I've got shiny rubies. I've got shiny sapphires. And I have like 300 vital crystals. But the game says I don't have any. I've never unlocked it, apparently. So there's a few issues like that. But that'll change as the game goes on, I'm sure. Uh, they they don't want to put him in Kingdom Hearts. They could at least let Max be in Dreamlight Valley. I know it makes sense. I would not be upset if Max joined Dreamlight Valley. You never know what they might do. There are so many options. Uh, there's a million things they can do. I don't know what they're going to do. Animal Amy, thank you. You have a YouTube channel. It's called Animal Amy. I just do things I love. Maybe we could do an impression challenge or Disney cover together. Uh, maybe. I have to go check out your channel. I, I don't know. We shall see. And you get voice of your choice. What would you like, Animal Amy? Have you figured out how to catch eels outside of Maui's quest? No, can you? I thought that was just something they haven't figured out yet. Because you'd have to catch eels for Maui's thing. But you can't do eels for anything else. To my knowledge. So I don't think there's a way to. Right now. You want to ask me something, Maria? Shoot, go for it. Hey, Brian, huge fan. Love what you do. I'm a Christian. I have a huge Disney anime film. Nice. Awesome possum. Glad to hear you love some Disney. Good stuff, good stuff. See, I'm kind of just running around now. But yeah, there's a lot of things we can't do. This is why I was like, I don't know if this will make a good series on stream or not. Because, like, yeah, every day it's going to be just me doing errands and stuff to eventually get cooler stuff. So it might be something more fun to every so often check in, see what's changed, see what's new. Uh, but, yeah, like, I haven't showed you any rooms in the house yet besides my storage room. I should probably show you all some of that. There's some cool stuff. Why aren't you following me, little raccoon? Like, you get a, you get a character and they're supposed to follow you all around. Stay in the sun, they're supposed to follow you all around. So, like, yeah, I can go into wardrobe and then change my companion from here. So, yeah, I have Choco Crocodile for joining early. There's Incredible Squirrel that you get through events. This one that I have with the button eyes, he was from the event. You unlock Pua, so I can have Pua follow me around. He's fun. These are all the animals I've unlocked so far, at least that the games let me unlock. And then these were some from the special bonus packs. You can get Celestial Sea Turtle and the Regal Fox. I had the Regal Fox for a while. But I mainly have Pua, because Pua is just fun. Hi, Pua. Yay. <laughs> Scar is looking behind you. Beware. You. Well, I'm always prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, Let me see. Animal Amy has not told me a voice yet. Um, The little raccoon kind of reminds you of Miko. Kind of. Uh, yeah, so I showed you guys my storage room. Let me show you guys my kitchen. It's not finished yet. I want to go through and add some serious cabinets in here, but it's not bad. It's not bad just to start with. Um, but yeah, you can come over here and you can do some cooking. I, you can also cook in Remy's restaurant. That's where I prefer to do it because Remy's sitting there with you and he'll like react when you make a recipe and stuff. He'll actually be like, yeah, you did it right. Or I don't know what this is going to be. Or, oh, you did this. You'll totally make something cool. Or if he puts something in, he thinks it's going to be gross. He's like, eh. So, yeah. Eevee from Pokemon is your favorite Pokemon. I mean, yeah, your your avatar is an Eevee, so that would make sense. Eevee, Eevee. Very fun. Um, so, this one, I, I'm going through in, like, every, like, genre of movie or type of furniture is going to get its own room. So there's like a Mickey and Friends room, Sword in the Stone room. Actually, I don't have a Sword in the Stone room yet, but there will be one. A Wally room, Moana room, you get the picture. So there's this one type of furniture called, I think it's called Starlight, that I made this room all based around Starlight, everything that I had. So it's gonna, it's a lot. <laughs> but I think I'm going to turn this into a bathroom and then move it to one of the higher floors. Philip, thank you. Aqua Luxine Gaming Channel. Aqua! Hey, hey, Brian! Hey, Aqua! Let me uh, spin the wheel for you. So, yeah, I have like this little this little well thing in the middle. There's like a window for it. There's like that this thing in the corner. I don't know what you'd call that. There's a bed. There's a little side table. 
yeah, there's tons of stuff in here. And this is like the floor that's supposed to match. It's a lot. But yeah, this will eventually just be where I show all the cool stuff. Uh, and you got Franken voice of your choice, Aqua. What Franken voice do you want? I only asked about the eels because I thought I saw a recipe that uses eels. So yeah, I've seen that too. There are characters that are like requesting a meal that has eels in it. I think that's a, I think that's a, I've only seen that once and I think that was a glitch. I don't think it was supposed to be there. So yeah, so far I've unlocked 16 floors. Um, I haven't, I can unlock more, but I don't want to spend all my money on that right now. Especially because as you guys have seen, I need to focus on the floors I already have. I like, see there's nothing in this big open area. I'll probably need to go do stuff, but like this, I think is my Lion King room. Yeah, this is my Lion King room. This is everything I have so far that's Lion King. I think, I think there was something new I got that I haven't added yet. It's like you can go in here and you can filter out just stuff for what you're looking for, which is so helpful when I'm doing stuff this way. Nope, everything I have Lion King that I can put inside is inside. Not everything can go inside. Like there's some outside stuff like that waterfall by my house is Lion King, but like. You can decorate it however you want. You put the bed in here. All of this is stuff I've gotten for Lion King. You just got the red and white ravens just now. Nice. Do you have a room for uh, uh, Johan? Oh, there's plenty of room. Which, by the way, I know he still got unlocked twice. This was where my uh, where my indoor pool was. But there, you couldn't do anything with just a giant pool in here. Which was cool at first, but then got kind of boring. So I don't know what that's going to turn into. I think that might be where the starlight room I told you about. I think that's going to move here, and that's going to be a bathroom. Uh, this is my Beauty and the Beast room. This is everything I have so far, I think. Yeah. Okay, there's still a globe. I already have that same glass lamp and the quill and ink, so I can add a globe. The big globe. Um, I'm gonna put you over here in the corner. Yeah, that looks good. Whee! And yeah, I'm still waiting for like their wallpaper and their flooring, but you know, I just did what matched as best I could at the moment that I did it. There's still, I haven't done it for every room yet. Oh wait, I'm already at floor two. Go to floor three. So yeah, the middle of every one of these from here on out, oh, they're all empty. I need to fix that. Uh, but yeah, this is Mickey and Friends that I have so far. There's still a ton of new stuff, but I'm like, this room's kind of full. I think Mickey and Friends is going to need a second a second room. You want Friar Tuck and Tantor, please. Okay. Uh, this is Moana. There's not a whole lot she has as of yet. so It's mainly a bunch of little stuff, so I'm hoping to be able to get more pretty soon. Holy crud, Brian, how many floors do you have? 16! And I can make more. <laughs> but Friar Tuck and Tantor. Oh, for heaven's sake, son, you're no outlaw. Why, someday you're going to be a great hero. But every so often, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. <laughs> Are you sure this water sanitary? Oh, it's questionable to me. Yeah, this is the Frozen room. There is so much Frozen in this game. So Frozen's going to need its own room also. Going to need another room. Sorry, did you say 16? Yes, I have 16 floors so far. And I can unlock more. This the next floor is going to be a million coins. And I don't know if I want to spend that right now. But yeah. Um, Did I do this room? Oh yeah, that was the Frozen room. And then that was Moana. Okay, cool. Why does one of the beds in Mickey and Friends room have a logo super similar to Mario? I don't remember seeing that. Well, that's M for Mickey. Mickey's always had an M that's kind of, that's, that's like, that's the Mickey M. The Mario M is different, but yeah, it's still an M. I get that. How? Oh, yeah, no, this house makes no sense. Because if you go back... And look outside. <laughs> yeah, eventually I'm going to get all the middle spaces looking cool too. Yeah, if you go outside and look outside, you'd think max, maximum this house could maybe have two two stories. But no, I have 16. It's, it's the Mary Poppins house. It just keeps going. 
it's just really it's just really expensive to keep making more floors it's amazing what you do when you don't owe debt to a raccoon I, am, am i right though everyone tries to say oh well scrooge is basically the same thing as tom nook no you get here and you get a house this house is all dilapidated and ugly and nasty but you know you have a house you don't owe nobody nothing you just kind of take over this abandoned house and you make it look cool you don't owe nobody owe, you don't owe nobody nothing and Scrooge just helps you. He never, like, charges you debt for anything. It's just, hey, do you want to upgrade this? Cool. Give me 20,000 coins. Like, now. Cool. You're done. You don't owe me nothing. It's beautiful. Okay, it's bigger on the inside like the TARDIS. Pretty much. Uh, what do you have in your character's hands? So this is the shovel. Uh, you have multiple things you can do. You can have nothing. You can have your watering can, your shovel, your fishing rod, your pickaxe, and your camera. You can actually take pictures with your camera. Do a little selfie mode. Get somebody here, or you can switch it. Oh, I can change emotions? I didn't notice this one. That's fun. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, you can add filters, I think. Is that what this is? Oh, you can totally add filters. Oh, that's fun. You can put, like, oh, borders around it and stuff. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Dreamlight Valley. Let's throw the let's throw the logo in here. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, and you can change your your pose. Oh, I didn't notice you could do all that. Give me the rar. Ah, oh, give me the rar. <laughs> do the rar. Do it. I think there's also a way. Um. I think there is a way. Yeah, change camera mode. You can change it like this. Instead of you don't want selfie mode, you can do it from behind. You can do it from the front. That. And yeah, if, if your characters are in the frame, they'll strike a pose, which is fun. I'm so happy, Eric. Would be cool if you could have characters come live in your house. That would be. They can come and visit your house. Like if I talk to Ariel right here. Hi. Actually, no. She can't do that. You can't. You. She's not a companion who can do that with. It's but Scar time. is. Yeah. Um. Let's hang mm -hmm. out. If I tell him to hang out with me and I go into my house, he comes with me. So here he is. So we can totally put Scar in the Lion King room for a little bit. Is Pua following you? Yes. Pua is my little companion. But see. So Scar can hang out in my room. I can go to all of their houses too. So you can see like what their houses are decorated as and stuff. It's really fun. Animal Amy, thank you. Do you like the Cuphead show? I love it. Oh, I love the Cuphead show. It is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You unlocked human, Ariel? Yes, I did. <laughs> so the way in the game it works is you can give her uh, a seashell. And this magical seashell, she can decide if she wants to go back into the water or go onto land. But ever since I gave it to her, she has not returned to the water. So, <laughs> I think she made her choice. I have yet to see her in water again. Okay, Scar, quit following me. It's kind of scary. Uh huh. But some of the dialogue these characters have together is actually really fun. Prison Donald escaped. <gasps> no! <laughs> Ariel's not a mermaid? Well, okay, so she starts as a mermaid in this game. So, like, when you get her, she's only a mermaid. So, you can only go to a body of water and find her and talk to her there. But, after a while, you can unlock Prince Eric. And one of the quests with Prince Eric is to make this special seashell for her that you give to her. And she can decide whether she wants to be on land or in the water. Ever since I gave her that one, she has not returned to the water, though. But that's not to say she can't return to the water. I'm saying right now, I don't know if just she's chosen not to in my game or she hasn't. I just haven't noticed. Um, or maybe it is a glitch and they just haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, and there is like bags like this that you get furniture from and stuff. So I got a new dining table. You can, yeah, uh, you feed the critters. Like, I don't have any. Do I have any seaweed on me? Oh, I do. Yeah, I could feed the sea turtle here. Every single one you got to feed them differently. And do different things. So like the sea turtle, when you first run up, they hide in their shell. You sit here long enough, they pop the little head out, you hit approach, and you can feed them something. They love seaweed, so I'll feed you some seaweed, and you're just really happy. I've already unlocked this one, so I don't need it for unlocking, but, you know, they do give you stuff. 
like if you need more dream light they can give you dream light uh dream shards they give you dream shards they give you motifs that you can use to make custom clothing there's a lot of things that they can give you imagine walking around your neighborhood and scar as an actual wild lion just walking around freely i know right How'd you find the seashell? So you actually have to do the quest uh, with Eric. Once you get to that certain level with him, he'll tell you, go get these materials. Let's make this seashell. Um, so you have to unlock Eric. Is this character supposed to be you? Kind of. This is the year of Cuphead. I don't know, right? Can you meet Crush? As of right now, no, but maybe. Maybe in the future of the game. They're planning on expanding it dramatically. Oh, thank you for explaining that. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Donald was prison and trying to steal Mickey Mouse's good tool. Yeah, here you go. Don't forget about Johan. Yes, we still need to do Johan. But yeah, no, so this is everybody's houses. Uh, Maui's, Moana's. Yeah, I still need to get rid of the statue of Eric. We had to do that for Little Mermaid one. Donald. Um, Yeah. Go ahead. What type of pet do I have right now? I have Pua, but I have unlocked many of them. All of my companions are here. These are the ones that I've unlocked so far. I haven't unlocked all of them, but I've unlocked a good chunk of them. Most of them. I'm, I, I feel like there's some glitches with a few of them because I've fed this classic squirrel and white raccoon like 20 times and it is yet to unlock them. I actually have been streaming this game as a playthrough guide. Nice! Paul the Gamer, I so want Stitch here. I would have his house next to mine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure Stitch is coming. He's in the official artwork. So there's no way he's not going to be in the game. Is Cinderella in this game? As of now, no. Right now, but I wouldn't be shocked if she is. Right now, you got Merlin, Wally, Maui and Moana, Remy, Scar, Ariel, Prince Eric, and Ursula, Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Mother Gothel, Donald, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Scrooge. I know that's not a lot. It's only 18, but they, the game devs have already promised that there is a ton of characters coming. Like, a ton. And they've already said that Toy Story is the next one coming, so probably next month we're going to get Buzz and Woody. Uh, since Halloween is next week, I think you're gonna you're gonna like this Franken voice of Pete in Winnie the Pooh. What do you think? I am, that would be a that might be a good Franken voice. Okay, now besides the Johan one, have I given everybody what they spun on the wheel? I feel like I'm missing something, and it's kind of bugging me. Can we put Donald back in jail? <laughs> um, I mean, there might be a way to kind of do that. Why is Mother Gothel there but no Rapunzel? It makes sense in story right now. Um, there's some things that happen because of Mother Gothel. I will say that. I don't want to say what happens because that was actually kind of a big surprise for me. I wasn't expecting that, and it was really pretty cool. Um, but I think it, it was because of that story beat reason. But I would be shocked if Ariel's not on her... Not Ariel. Rapunzel's not on her way. And, like, there's some things where... They've hinted at things without truly saying it. Like, for example, when I first came up here to Sunlit Plateau, Scar's house was already here. That elephant skull was already here. So it's like, oh, well, obviously we're going to get Scar because his house is already here in the game, which we did about a month or, a month or so later. And then we go up here. We have not gotten this yet, but look at this house. There is this house here. We can't go inside of it. There's no character that lives in it, but there is no way this is not the fairy godmother's house. Ain't no way. It has to be the fairy godmother's house. So if we're going to get her, I'm sure we're going to get Cinderella. How do you get Pua? You uh, finish all of the Moana missions, and I think it's like the second to last mission with Moana. You'll unlock Pua. You basically have to free Pua from like these thorns. And then once you do that, you get Pua, and you can use him as a, a companion if you want. Where is Pua? Pua? Pua was following me. Where'd you go? We did pass Scar. No! <laughs> Yo, you can't lose Pua. 
There you go. There he is. I think he just got stuck on something. Come on, Pua. Why do you convert the room that used to be the pool room into the second Mickey and Friends room? I was thinking about that, but I also want to put a bathroom on the first floor. I kind of want the first floor to feel and function like a real house. And then all the floors above just be rooms of furniture that I have. No, it's actually a random pumpkin's house. <laughs> I really hope Rex is in the update or another update, if not this one. I, I think this update, it's only Buzz and Woody. But, I mean, Toy Story's already been has started, so I, I wouldn't be shocked if they added more Toy Story characters after that. Please upload this video to stay on right after the live stream. Like to watch tonight. Love your videos. It's awesome. All of the live streams are still up. None of them are gone. You just have to go through the playlists. Every stream I've ever done is still up. You just have to go through my playlists and find it. And I've made one specifically for Dreamlight Valley, and this is the only one on it. So when we finish this stream, just go to my uh, go to my playlist. You can watch it as much as your heart desires. Your plaza is very fancy. Oh, thank you. I want to do more to it, but I got to get more stone for that. We can totally do it. It'd be so awesome if you made the voices of the characters while playing Disney Magic Kingdoms. Um... Do they not talk in that one? Because I know characters talk in this one. They don't say a whole lot, but they'll say enough. Like, if I talk to Kristoff, he'll actually talk to hi. me. Hi. Yeah, like he said hi. But if I start a conversation with him... Yeah, you have to read what he says. I'm um, Kristoff is not the best voice that I do. Otherwise, I totally redo voices him right now. But you can, like, pick your response. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> Force is just what I'm used to. It's simple there. Just me and Sven, the trees, the birds. A guy can really think there, you know? That sounds eh. nice. So he'll actually, like, respond like, eh. They'll do, like, sounds and stuff. See ya. But then he'll say, like, see ya. Some of them will actually have some fun lines. Like, Merlin's got, I'll tip my hat. I tip my hat to you, Sal. Though I prefer not to take it off. All of the incredible clothes and furniture, you want them in the game? Unfortunately, with that, they were only available in the event, to my understanding, so I don't think you can get those anymore. Which I know is kind of sad, but yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember there being a whole lot of furniture. I think it was just that Incredimobile, Incredibile, Incredi Incredicycle. They might have something where you can get those later, like once the game officially, like, comes out, comes out. They might have that. But yeah, right now, I think it's just, uh, yeah, these in the Incredible Suits. Apparently, there's a third thing that you can get that I don't have yet. This is two out of three, but I got everything in the event, so it's not, like, an event lock thing. So maybe they did add something. Uh, Mr. Art Rules, thank you. I spend a wheel for you. So basically, this is The Sims with Disney. Yes, it's kind of like a mixture of Sims, Minecraft, and Animal Crossing, but Disney. It's weirdly fun, you guys. Uh, okay, voice of my choice... Um, well, do Pumba. I haven't got to do Pumba in a while. <laughs> so yeah. Animal Amy, you excited for Cuphead show season three? Yes, excited. I love Cuphead. There's a mask in the current event. Oh, that's what it is. There's a mask in the current event. That's what it is. I don't have. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. The Incredible Super Mess. So, yeah, that's it. I need to unlock that one. But, yeah. So, yeah. that This is Disney Dreamlight Valley, for those of you guys who have never gotten to play it before. And you guys have seen it pretty far into the game. This is over 100 hours played. Uh, but let me go get Johan, because I know we got to get those uh, done before the end of the stream. All right. Johan. Oh, I got tangled up. Johan! Hello, everyone! This is Johan, yeah? Okay. I will set the timer. We're going to have two, two worths of the session, so six minutes. And yeah. <clears throat> you keep thinking about whether the toys will be toy size or whether it be human size toys. I, that's a good question. I believe they are supposed to be small, to my understanding. Like, I think they'll be probably Remy size or maybe slightly bigger. Because, like, where's Remy? Where'd Remy go? Remy, where are you? 
You should go into the... No, you didn't go into the restaurant. Where are you? Where did you go, Remy? Um, did you go to the Forgotten Lands? Where did you go? You're probably, like, right here, and I totally missed you. Yep, you're right there, and I totally missed you. You're not but five feet from me. Hello! I see so many people saying hello to me. Yeah, like, see how small Remy is? I have a feeling the toys will probably be about his size. That's my guess. But I'm not positive. I know that whenever you first uh, go to their world in the castle, they will be, you will be toy sized. Um, you shrink. So they will all look the same height to you, but everything else is massive. And I think when you come back, they will be toy sized. Or maybe they grow. I don't know. That is a, that is a good question. How did you progress so much already? I have played this game a lot. Like over a hundred hours worth. Well, Brian has, I should say. Not me. But Brian has played this game a lot. Well over a hundred hours. He just has... He was really enjoying it. <laughs> Johan, are you level 40 already? Yes! Um, level 40. We can't get any higher than that. At least right now. Maybe they'll change that later. And yeah, the quests, we've done every quest except for this one from Scrooge that just showed up with the new one. You decorate the sunlit plateau. Brian doesn't really want to do that just yet, but he's thinking just to get rid of that quest, he'll like go up there, throw 10 items down, pick them right back up, and be done with it. That's what he did for some of the other ones that Scrooge wanted. Because he's like, he's not ready to decorate that yet. Did you see he still has some work to do on the plaza? And he wants to do a little bit more work on the meadow to make a few more paths. Makes them look very nice and do things on this side. And maybe decorate the gardens a little bit more with the pumpkins and things. And put like a nice little garden fence around it. Yeah, and Ursula will hop around through all these different puddles and ponds and stuff. Uh, Ariel used to do that too before she could walk. So yeah, we still have this nice little neighborhood for most of these uh, characters. So yeah, that's a lot of hours. But Brian was having a lot of fun. <laughs> and also, uh, Brian was playing this via... Uh, cloud gaming. So he would be like laying in his bed, pull out his phone and play it a little bit, yeah. I know if people have it on Switch. Brian was playing it on Xbox. Uh, but if you play it on Switch, you can take it on the go, obviously. Because it is available on Switch. It's available on the Xbox. It is available, I think, on everything. Oh, Margaret, thank you. Johan, the character looks like you with the hat. <gasps> no, that is a top hat. This is a bowler hat, but I totally see what you mean. <laughs> thank you, Margaret. Here's a hug for you, Johan. Oh, thank you, Kayla. You think it would be awesome if they brought Hunchback of Notre Dame? Maybe. Maybe. Chris, thank you for becoming a member. I know that would make Brian very happy. Or renewing, I should say. Chris renewed and so did Steven. Thank you. How did you make Ratatouille please help and is Wally's garden supposed to and is uh and is Wally's garden supposed to look like? Um so I will show you Wally's garden totally upgraded. Here's his garden. I moved it over here to be in this back corner. It looks very nice back here, I think. I added this nice little doorway and everything. Uh but yeah, this is what it looks like when it's all done. I have already collected all the vegetables for today, so he'll grow more by tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so that's what his garden looks like. And you mean like how to make ratatouille? Like what is the recipe? I can show you right now. Uh, I have unlocked all of the recipes. Uh, ratatouille is... Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, you use tomato, eggplant, uh, I believe that is, that's not zucchini. Yes, that's zucchini. So tomato, eggplant, zucchini, onion, and then a spice of your choice. Any spice should do. So yes, that is the recipe to make it. So you need all of those items. And then once you do that, you can make the ratatouille, yeah? Yeah. Ah, you have been playing this game while you stream it. Nice. Yeah, I've been playing... Uh, Brian has been playing this game relentlessly at least once a day. 
since he got the game. Even when he like left on trips, he would be playing it on his phone since he would he could play it via the cloud. PS4 and 5. Yeah, you could do it on all of those things. Has Johan got to play Dreamlight Valley yet before on the stream? This is this is the first time I've gotten to. Could have two minutes off. Oh, yeah, we've gone a little bit over, but that's okay. This was fun today. Uh, can't find Dreamlight Valley on the Apple App Store. Okay, hang on. Brian will address that in just a second. But my time is up. Yes, so it's not available on Apple as in an app. So what Johan meant when he said I was playing this on my phone is I have Xbox, I have uh, Game Pass. So Game Pass is, you can play, you can download the Game Pass app and then you pay for Game Pass. So, but in order to play it on your phone, you actually need a controller connected to it. So you can get like the, you can just get an Xbox controller and there's like a little clip you can put on there to put your phone there. But I actually found one on Amazon that actually like it clamps around your phone, plugs into your phone and looks and feels like a switch. And I can play the game that way. That was a birthday present that I got this year. Uh, oh, thank you. 1997 Gmail. Um, but yeah. So that's one of the ways that I'm doing it is I'm not going through the Dreamlight Valley app, but rather through the Game Cloud app. Or yeah, the Game Cloud. And I can play it via the Game Cloud. That's what it is. All right. Been hoping you'd start playing this. So I don't know if this is going to be like an ongoing series, but it's definitely one that we're going to hop in every so often cuz yeah, if I play this again next Monday, it's not going to be a whole lot different. It'll be a little different, but not a lot. Because you guys can see, if you guys have been playing the game, you'll realize the only thing that really looks much different is my plaza and my meadow. Everything else looks almost identical to where you are when you start. And that's just because the, the progress is kind of slow in this game, but it's supposed to be. And well, Amy, thank you. Dressing up as Chalice from the Cuphead Show for Halloween. Nice. Um... So yeah, it's not going to look a whole lot different if I hop in, if we watch this on Monday. Um, oh, voice of my choice. Um, I'll do some Dracula, yes. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you're going to be dressing up for Halloween. It's going to be very fun. Uh, puppet streamers, thank you. What was the point of making Ariel human when you can't hang out with her? I don't know. I'm hoping that that gets fixed because I'd love to be able to hang out with her and have me do stuff with her because I'd like to – I need to thin out some of the things that I could do with some of the characters since a few of them got doubled up on. Uh, oh, you choose. What would you like, puppet streamers? You can pick anything on the wheel. Is this an actual game you're playing? Yeah. It's just a real game. It's very fun. Um, I know we're just about time up on time here, but like I said, this is probably not a game we're going to be streaming – Every single week is something we're probably just going to check in on every so often. Like maybe once or twice a month, we'll hop in and be like, hey, where am I in Dreamlight Valley? Okay, cool. I'll show you. Otherwise, it's going to look almost the same every single stream. It'll be a little bit different. But yeah, like my plaza has looked pretty much like this with very little change for like at least the last week. And even then, the only thing that happened was I did have the big Mickey fountain here. I moved it over there, and then I put rock around it. That's really the main difference. Everything else has been here. Mac, the Disney fan, uh, what would you like to see in Scotland? Oh, just all of it. I'd love to see Loch Ness. I'd just love to experience that. Uh, just I don't know. Scotland just always has been appealing to me. I just think it's really cool. So, yeah. Wait, you can put an iPhone, a phone on your Xbox controller, Brian? Yes, and there's actually like a little thing you can connect it with to your controller. You can buy that little clip, I think at like Best Buy, Target I think has it. And yeah, so you can play cloud gaming on your phone. I do that every morning with this game because I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to get out of bed yet. So I'll grab my phone, grab my little controller and I'll just start playing. I'll play it for like an hour or two and then I'll get out of bed because I wake up early. <laughs>
Oh, Brian, I've been playing the Hotel Transylvania game you're voiced in. Oh, uh, Scary Tale Adventures? Yes, that one was fun to do. Love your contact. Love your contact? I think you mean, like, content. <laughs> I think that's what you mean. If so, thank you. Um... But yes. Uh, oh, you want a Franken voice? Okay, puppet streamers, what Franken voice do you want? You can take your pick. Um, but yeah. So, I guess I'll ask you guys. We'll do a poll. We're going to do a poll real quick. Hang on. Move some stuff around. Because I have to do a poll, I have to go over here. Is it here? Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, thank you, Miss Art Rules. Will I do a drawing stream again? If people want to see it, I'm totally game for it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Poke Catcher. Okay. So. I'm creating a poll, and this poll is going to be, do you want a series of Dreamlight Valley games, streams? Like, for example, for like the next, I don't know, few weeks, do you want just Dreamlight Valley? If you do, click yes. If not, and you'd rather just check on this every so often, click no. Um, otherwise, we're going to pick a game today, and then we'll finish the stream today. All right, so here we go. The poll has gone up, so you guys tell me, do you want a, a Disney Dreamlight series, or would you rather just check in every so often? Because like I said, the progress is going to be very slow, but this is one where I can react with you guys a little bit. It's easy for me to stop and just talk with y'all. So if y'all got, if y'all would like a little more talking and a little less crazy gameplay like Kingdom Hearts, then this is a game we could totally do that with. And we'll go until we decide we're kind of done. <laughs> Uh, oh, puppet streamers, you want Jiminy plus Tigger. Oh, boy. Hiya there. It's Jiminy Cricket plus Tigger here. T I W R. That spells Tigger. That actually is really cool. I kind of like that. <laughs> Almost forgot about you. The name is Jiminy Tigger. <laughs> He's fun. Okay, so we have overwhelming yes on that. Yeah, definitely, definitely Dreamlight Valley. Okay, so y'all definitely want this. <laughs> I would love to see Tigger in here. Hopefully so. Like, of course, anytime there's a new update, we could definitely do this on stream. I almost did that for the Scar stream. Almost did it. I kind of wish I did, especially because how much y'all enjoy this. But I'm glad we also finished Kingdom Hearts. So... Yeah, if y'all guys, if you guys want more, so yeah, Monday we'll definitely do more. I'm hoping by Monday to have gotten brick all the way here, closing off this gap right here, and getting brick all around here, and just making this whole area more brick, and then adding like some planters and some really nice things to make this kind of feel like a, like a not a strip mall. That's a bad way to say it. Uh, like a, like a shopping center. That's kind of what I'm doing. So I guess we're doing Disney Dream Light Valley. Yep. Yep. I'm ending the poll because it's an odd... Yeah, we're definitely doing a series of this then. Sounds like lots of fun. Good. Yeah, and especially now that we've had the episode where we just sit here and explain how everything works and what the game is like since it's still really new. Next time, I won't be explaining everything. It will just be mining. We'll be harvesting berries. We'll be getting pumpkins we'll be crafting new stuff and i'll see what i'll save a bunch of stuff so that we can craft it together and do all that and yeah if any of y'all are having questions about dreamlight valley there's a question you want to know how to do stuff with i'm always happy to help if you guys don't want to go ahead and consult the internet you can, can, can you can come and ask me i will give y'all all of the deep all the deets because i know there's a few things that really stumped me for a little bit and until i looked up how to do it i like i never would have guessed to have done that so yeah, your valley looks good, Brian. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed. Um, and just to make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. So yeah, um, just so I don't lose anything. 
But yeah. The internet's overrated anyway. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the game right now. I, we went over, but I was having fun showing y'all Dreamlight Valley. So, yeah, if you guys want to get Dreamlight Valley and you guys have questions along the way, anytime there's a stream, feel free to ask. Especially now that, you know, we've kind of gotten the how to play out of the way and what all the stuff is. Next stream, I'll just be like, gathering pumpkins, we can talk. Because <laughs> when I'm gathering pumpkins, I just click, I just hold A button down and just go. <laughs> so I just sit there and just read all your content, all your comments. This game looks really fun. It is a lot of fun. Like, I weirdly love this game. I didn't get into Animal Crossing, but this one, yes. I played it every day since it came out. I do not regret it. I have so much fun. I uh, would love to see a Banjo a Banjo Tooie series on the channel. I'm for that too. If everyone else will see Banjo Tooie, I will never turn down Banjo Tooie. I love it. Man, I'm wanting to stream this game more now. <laughs> there's so much you can do, and there's so many characters that are coming. So that's the thing is, I want. I want to stockpile all of this stuff so that when a new character comes, I can like get everything that they have like quickly. Cause like Scar, by day three of Scar being out, I already had him to level ten. I had done every quest. I've done all the things by day three. And the only reason it took me to day three is because one of the quests required you to wait like two days. Otherwise, I would have done it all in day one. <laughs> it's fun. I enjoy playing it. It's coming to play. Yes, I agree. Win seventy six. I agree. Maybe uh, by Christmas, there'll be several characters. Um, they might add a new one before Christmas. I'm sorry, I, I honestly think they might do like a Nightmare for Christmas one, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. As of right now, the only thing that they said 100% sure is coming very soon is Toy Story. After that, we don't know. But there will be more. There will be a ton more. So we'll see. Do I want an Epic Mickey 3? I don't know. Epic Mickey 2 was okay. I liked Epic Mickey 1 better, but even then, Epic Mickey 1, I'm like, there could have been some stuff different. So the reason you got never got into Animal Crossing because it didn't have Disney characters, not necessarily. I think part of it is, if you guys start this game, there is actually an overarching story. Animal Crossing doesn't have that. It's kind of like, oh, here's an island. Go do stuff. But no, there is an overarching story to Dreamlight Valley. And that's why I want to unlock everything as fast as I can and go because I want this story. It's not an amazing story. It's not this. There is some mystery and some intrigue that keeps me going, but it's not this grand story. I think I kind of already figured it out. And I think I figured it out as soon as the game started. But still, it's a story. And every time you get a new character, you get more of the story. You don't get that with Animal Crossing. And, you know, there's stuff that happens because a character came into your world. There's a story element that I don't get with Animal Crossing that I get here, and that's why I want to keep going. I want more of the story. I want to see what's going to happen next, and that's it. All right. Um, you know, you have almost everyone level 10. I know Eric took uh, – Ariel, Ursula, and Eric were the ones that took forever for me because Ariel and Ursula you can't hang out with, so you can't just level them up that way. They were a pain, and then Eric – was just a pain because he wanted all of my iron and I'm like, no, I need my iron. <laughs> so I, I told him to wait a second while I went and cook while I got all my iron because I wanted to make, uh, I was making something. I think it was, uh, I, it was the, I think it was the gazebo. I'm like, no, I'm getting this gazebo. Then you're getting the iron because I want my iron first. <laughs> all right. So this is where we're going to end it today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be doing more Disney Dreamlight Valley on Monday next week. Um, also, if you guys want any of the old merch that's on the store right now, everything but the Jimmy Pillow is going away on November 3rd. So be ready for that. End of November 3rd. Can't get any more. All gone. Uh, but there will be brand new merch on November 4th. And there will be a lot. And I'm very excited. I've already gotten a lot of the samples for it. And most of it's looking good. And if it didn't look good, I fixed it to where it does look good now. <laughs> Um, also, Life is a Bowl of Cashews, new episode on Saturday. Be ready for that. And we got cool videos coming to the channel this week. In fact, uh, I've got two videos for sure that are coming out and maybe a third. If anything, it'll go out like Monday or something. All right. So thank you guys so much. Hope you have a lovely day. More Dreamlight Valley on next Monday. And we have a live stream hangout on Friday. Hope to see you guys there. 
But actually, wait, Monday is Monday's Halloween. Okay, maybe not Monday. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but there will be more Dreamlight Valley next week. I'll get back to you guys on the actual date. All right, and if you're an epic color maniac, look out on the community tab here right after the stream. I'm going to make a post. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.